The World Health Organization, or WHO, is deeply committed to improving the health and well-being of everyone, everywhere. This is especially crucial in the Southeast Asia region, home to a quarter of the world's population. Facing unique health challenges, this vibrant region is constantly striving for better health outcomes. We at WHO are dedicated partners in this journey. The WHO's presence in Southeast Asia is marked by collaboration and action. We work closely with all 11 member states to address shared health priorities. Our efforts are grounded in the belief that everyone deserves a fair chance at a healthy life. The 17th meeting of the Subcommittee on Policy and Programme Development and Management, or SPPDM, exemplifies this commitment. This meeting serves as a vital platform for member states, partners and stakeholders. We come together to review progress, share experiences and chart the course for a healthier future. Our discussions are guided by scientific evidence best practices and the shared vision of health for all. The SPPDM plays a crucial role in translating global health agendas into regional action. By working together, we can overcome health challenges and create a brighter and healthier future for the people of Southeast Asia. Our collective efforts will pave the way for a future where everyone can achieve their full health potential. The WHO stands with the region, ready to support and collaborate every step of the way. The 17th SPPDM meeting was a crucial step in strengthening health systems and improving health outcomes in the region. Delegates from all 11 member states participated in the four-day event. They engaged in productive discussions and knowledge-sharing sessions. This collaborative spirit is at the heart of our approach to public health. The meeting's agenda focused on key financial and programmatic aspects of WHO's work in the region. The agenda included a thorough review of the programme budget for 2022 to 2023. We carefully analysed the budget's implementation. Additionally, we identified any challenges faced during the process. Deliberations on the proposed budget for 2026 to 2027 were another important aspect of the meeting. This forward-looking approach ensures that WHO remains equipped to address emerging health needs. It also allows us to stay aligned with the evolving health landscape of the region. Discussions on the current budget for 2024 to 2025 provided valuable insights. We examined the allocation of resources to various health programmes. This ensures that our financial investments translate into tangible improvements in people's lives. The programme. Budget for 2024 to 2025 is our roadmap to achieving our health objectives. It reflects our commitment to addressing the region's most pressing health concerns. It also emphasizes the need for strategic resource allocation. This ensures maximum impact on the ground. This budget is not merely a financial document. It's a testament to our shared vision. It reflects our commitment to investing in areas that hold the greatest potential for transformative change. These include strengthening health systems, combating infectious diseases, and addressing the growing burden of non-communicable diseases. We acknowledge that sustainable financing is fundamental to achieving our health goals. It's not just about allocating resources, it's about ensuring that those resources are utilised effectively and sustainably. This requires robust financial management systems, transparency and accountability. The SPPDM meeting provided a platform for member states to provide valuable feedback on the programme budget. Their insights are crucial in shaping a budget 
that is not only comprehensive, but also responsive to the unique needs and priorities of each country in the region. The 14th General Programme of Work, or GPW14, provides the overarching framework for our actions. This strategic document outlines UUHU's global health priorities for the next decade. It's a roadmap for achieving a healthier future for everyone, everywhere. GPW14 is built on the principle of Universal Health Coverage, or UHC. This means ensuring that everyone has access to quality health services without facing financial hardship. It's about creating a world where good health is not a privilege, but a right enjoyed by all. The strategic objectives of GPW14 are closely aligned with the Sustainable Development Goals. These objectives include achieving health-related targets, promoting health and well-being across all ages, and addressing the social, economic and environmental determinants of health. The SPPDM meeting provided an opportunity to discuss the regional implications of GPW14. We explored ways to align our regional strategies with the global vision of GPW14. This ensures that our efforts contribute to the broader goal of a healthier and more equitable world. The WHO Investment Round represents a new approach to financing global health. It's about moving beyond traditional funding models and embracing innovative financing mechanisms. This will ensure that WHO has the resources it needs to deliver on its mandate. This initiative is not just about increasing funding, it's about investing strategically in areas with the highest potential for impact. It's about maximising the return on every dollar invested in global health. This will lead to healthier populations and more resilient health systems. The investment round focuses on three core objectives. First, it aims to enhance WHO's financial sustainability. Second, it seeks to improve the organisation's efficiency and effectiveness. Third, it aims to strengthen WHO's capacity to respond to health emergencies. The SPPDM meeting provided a platform to discuss the potential benefits of the investment round for the Southeast Asia region. We explored how this new financing model can accelerate progress towards universal health coverage and strengthen our collective response to health emergencies.